everybody. It is Friday, August 23rd. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens TGIF. Does anyone else feel like this week has been a whole year? Maybe it was the heat, but get excited, everyone. The weekend is here, and we are starting it off right. Coming up on today's show, you all know we love, absolutely love to celebrate around here, and we are getting ready for Houston's big 188th birthday. Mr. McKinney and friends, they are joining us, and find out ways you can celebrate for free. And H-Town's hottie, Meg the Stallion, is adding host to her resume. Learn which award show she's hosting coming up on the show. And speaking of celebrating tomorrow's National Waffle Day, Taste Kitchen is offering an unbeatable deal. Our good friend of the show, Chef Bowie, is serving it up. Plus how the special event will kick off a week-long celebration dedicated to waffles with a charitable twist that gives back to our community. So what do you say? Let's get this show cooking. And of course, we want to begin the show with that birthday celebration for H-Town. Now, ahead of Houston's 188th birthday, we are kicking off the festive fun. And let's be real, what is a birthday without cake? And there's nothing basic about the show or the type of cake we serve up. So, to help us celebrate our friends at Lady M, they worked with producer Lou. They are the creator of the world-famous meal clip, and they sent us the absolute most gorgeous cakes, you all. I mean, it's such a delicacy. It's absolutely stunning. So Lady M is actually a luxury cake brand that's based in New York City and has just recently opened its doors to the largest U.S. store right by my parents in the West Chase area. I can't wait to check it out. They have these beautiful layered crepe cakes that add a unique touch to any celebration. All I can say is merci beaucoup. And let's be real, it is a tradition here on Houston Happens to celebrate Houston's birthday with the one and only <laughs> Mr. McKinney and friends. So please welcome our dear friends, the best Houston historian, Mr. McKinney himself. We have our dear friend Allison Bell with the Heritage Society and Judge Israel Garcia. Thank you all so much for waking up with us and <laughs> celebrating. You know I love a good party. Oh, we are so excited. 188 years strong. This is amazing. So tell people what Houston used to be. I mean, we have some of these old images, but I love the history of how much we've grown. We've come so far. You know, back 1836, August 30th, 1836, Houston is founded. And it's really a two wide oaks by Buffalo Bayou come together. The Port of Houston right there on the screen was so instrumental in building our city. Back in 1914, we get a huge deep water port, even deeper. And then we also open up the Panama Canal not too far away. So we're a unique position city to really benefit from that. There's the Allen Brothers, the founders of Houston back in 1836 as well, and we're celebrating in a big way over at the Heritage Society this Saturday, 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Okay, so tell us about what's happening at the Heritage Society. Absolutely. Allison Bell right there with the Heritage Society's Executive Director, and we're going to have a free birthday cake with Three Brothers Bakery. We're also going to have really important elected officials and dignitaries like Judge Israel Garcia. He's going to be swearing in some young people, youth that we have there as well, the leading ladies and youth council individuals, and of course, free rides on board the Houston History Bus. So it's a whole weekend, a whole day of free, including Allison Bell has an announcement. <gasps> Charlotte Baldwin Allen, there's something coming up too. Yes, well, we also are celebrating Women's Equality Day on Saturday with the League of Women Voters. Okay. We will be there encouraging everyone to vote. They don't care who you vote for, just get out and vote. And we have a free giveaway to the C. Baldwin Hotel across the street for a, week, a weekend's day. You had me at free. <laughs> you had me at free. Right. free. So I want to talk, <laughs> what is your favorite part about being a Houstonian? Uh, well, I'm a native, and I love to brag about this city, and I love that I now can talk about the history of this city, so I love my job. I love that. <laughs> and what about you, Mr. McKinney? Oh my goodness, it's got to be the culture, the people. This, we've always been a very welcoming city since 1836. Everybody's welcome here, and that's Houston's secret. Everyone comes together, they pull together, and they make Houston a great city. That's what I love. What about you, Your Honor? I'll echo, I'll echo what Mr. McKinney said, the, the diversity that the city offers. Yes. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of languages, uh, the most delicious food you're ever going to taste. Where's your favorite restaurant? Uh, favorite, I, I don't know. Oh, you get in uh, trouble. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's too many to name. He's yes, too smart exactly. for that. That's a very smart <laughs> answer, Your Honor. Yeah. I love that. Well, three brothers, you gotta love them. They always provide the birthday cake. They even did my daughter's birthday cake. Oh, they did? Oh, yes, wow. I got I, I used them 
because I love supporting yes. locals. And they're one of the oldest Thank bakeries you. in Houston, 1949, and they've had such great challenges too yes. over the years. Right there, being located on the bayou, for example, been featured numerous times, but an example of the Houston spirit. Just continuously, Bobby and Janice Chuck are doing an amazing job, and they're so generous to us. So, yeah. and if you that. guys have not experienced a tour with Mr. McKinney on the Houston History Bus, you are missing out. We have been friends for years. Oh, yeah. Each time I learn something new. So, again, tell everybody how they can go out and enjoy this free festive fun. Absolutely. Come celebrate Houston's birthday, 188 years strong, happening at the Heritage Society, 1100 Bagby. Come on board the Houston History Bus for free. Come enjoy some cake from Three Brothers Bakery and some refreshments that we have there as well. Go check out the Houston House Museums that we have there as well. Old place, an 18, you know, 100s log cabin house. So, you learn so much about the city by just learning about the Heritage Society. 1954, they've been around. This is our 70th, 70th anniversary. Year. 70. Oh, yeah, is 125 years old. Sam Houston Park, 1899. So we're celebrating a lot of milestones. You're like a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> I'm always so impressed with you. And again, thank you guys thank so you. much for celebrating yeah. with me. I love having you. We'll have all this information over on our website as well. And happy early birthday, Houston. <laughs> Stay tuned for more Houston <laughs> a second of the action. CW Sports Saturday, every weekend this fall. If you haven't called Senior Life Insurance Company for your free quote, you're probably paying too much. Senior Life was able to get this 65-year-old woman a $10,000 immediate benefit whole life plan for under $41 a month. She saved over $450 a year by choosing Senior Life. Some competitors cost twice as much. This 65-year-old man was paying almost $110 a month before he called Senior Life. We were able to cut his rate to $52, saving him almost $700 a year. These low rates are locked in, and so is the coverage amount. Hundreds of thousands of seniors have taken advantage of our low-cost plans built with seniors' budgets in mind. We saved this couple almost $1,400 a year with more coverage compared to what they were paying. Call now to find out if Senior Life Insurance Company can cut your rate in half. The quote is absolutely free. Switch to Senior Life and stop paying too much. Call now. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night, even when you're hundreds of miles away from home? Always giving you and your family peace of mind. Knowing that people, benefits, and services are there for you 24-7. Over 50 million members rely on AAA. America's largest motor club and most highly recommended major roadside assistance provider. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire, or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Call AAA today and find out how much you can save. Labor Day weekend is the best time ever to buy a mattress. The most values. Come out to Cowboy Furniture's early Labor Day weekend sale on the 10th of the night. Save up to $1,200 on select Simmons Beauty West black mattresses and adjustable bases. Save up to $700 off select Semper Beauty mattresses. Buy your mattress today and get a free $300 gift card. And if the Astros win it all, you buy a mattress for $4,000 plus. Your purchase is free, free, free. Ghost Pros, buy that mattress today. Same big early Labor Day sale. Galley Furniture delivers free tonight. Sir, your check. Ah, oh, thank you. Unlikely cleaning products. I'm Mr. Semi-Clean. Whose line is in anyway? Season premiere Friday, September 6th. Houston happens. Are you ready for some football? We are just one day away, you all, from the Texans' last preseason game against the Los Angeles Rams. The Texans have been practicing leading up to the game. In fact, Houston's C.J. Stroud was excited to talk to Los Angeles Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford. I love this because the Texans and Rams, they actually practiced together yesterday for two hours.
hours, y'all. Stroud says he has been a fan of Stafford for a long time. He also wasn't going to pass up the opportunity to pick the brain of Stafford, who is entering his 16th NFL season. That's what I love about him. He's so humble, and he loves this game and learning. Now, the final preseason game for both teams is set to kick off tomorrow at noon right here at NRG Stadium. It's going to be a hot one, so make sure you definitely stay hydrated. And just like the Texans and the Rams, Krispy Kreme and Dr. Pepper are joining forces ahead of the NFL season kickoff. I think my husband will love this. Perfect to bring to an early tailgate. There are three different donut variations for football fans. The Texas favorite's got to be the glazed donut. It's stuffed with Dr. Pepper flavored frosting. Huh. Sprinkles with a burgundy sprinkle blend, kind of like almost for A&M, and topped with a white chocolate Dr. Pepper logo, a sweet treat that's sure to make the crowd go wild. And huddle up, mates. To kick off the NFL season, Outback Steakhouse is offering a deal too good to miss. You can score a free, yes, free, bloomin' onion appetizer dish. Those are my favorite. And it's a fan favorite. The deal only runs from today until Sunday, August 25th. So how? Well, simply mention the free bloomin' onion to your server. Say so you saw it here on Houston Happens when you visit the steakhouse and purchase any adult entree. You can also score the deal online with code BLOOM. And let's be real, he's given main character energy, Travis Kelsey. Now the Kansas City Chiefs tight end is adding actor to his resume. Did you hear about this? Comedian Adam Sandler confirmed on The Tonight Show that the NFL star has landed a cameo appearance in his upcoming movie, Happy Gilmore 2. Sandler told Jimmy Fallon that the sequel to the 1996 comedy will begin filming in New Jersey very soon. We don't really know yet what kind of role Kelsey will play in the movie. Something says he's going to be a football player. Who knows? Maybe typecast. But Sandler says we have a nice something for Travis. Meanwhile, Kelsey's leading lady and award-winning singer, Taylor Swift, she's actually breaking her silence after three show cancellations in Vienna devastated her fans. Two weeks after organizer Scrub Swift's concerts in Vienna amid a foiled terror plot, the singer issued her first statement. In a statement, she wrote, quote, the reason for the cancellations filled me with a new sense of fear and a tremendous amount of guilt because so many people had planned on coming to those shows. She thanked authorities for their response and clarified the reason why she waited to speak was to prioritize safety as she finished her Europe leg of the tour. And big news for H-Town hottie Megan Thee Stallion. She just released an album. And she also just executive produced a documentary on Playground, a dance studio. Now, y'all, she's adding another title to her resume. She is hot. VMA breaking news. Announcing music's most iconic night has found the most iconic host. He know who I am. Ain't had to say my name. Megan Thee Stallion is bringing the heat, the body, and all the savagery. And now, she's bringing hot girl summer to the VMAs. Adi, adi, adi. That's right, Megan the Stallion is now Megan the Host. She'll be hosting this year's MTV Video Music Awards. The rapper is also up for five awards, y'all, including Best Hip Hop Artist. She hosted SNL in The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon before, so she's definitely got some experience. Okay. When I heard this next talker, I have to say it stopped me in my tracks this morning. Police in California are investigating after a two-year-old girl was mistakenly served alcohol at a Japanese restaurant. Say what? So the girl's parents ordered her apple juice, but when the toddler started showing signs of intoxication, they said she was slurring, swaying, all of that. They knew mm -mm, this was not apple juice. So they smelled the drink and soon realized the juice cup she had been drinking out of had house-made cooking wine inside. So they rushed her to the ER where a blood test revealed an alcohol level of 0.12% in their daughter's system. She has since recovered. Meanwhile, the restaurant said it was all a mistake. Get this though, the wine was being stored inside a large container labeled apple juice when their server made the mistake. Adam, I mean, why on earth would you label something apple juice and put cooking 
drinking wine in it. Yeah, I mean, I could see like a parent doing that at home. Like, oh, that's daddy's apple juice right there. <laughs> or something, but, no, yeah, I mean, don't drink is... from Mommy Stanley. Yeah, okay, right. But no, that's a huge fail by the restaurant, obviously. And it's very scary. I mean, like, yeah. there's, you can hear about this, someone might think it's kind of funny. It's scary. I mean, it, for a kid to consume any, any kind of alcohol. I mean, May's almost two. She, yeah. But here's the one thing, though, that kind of got me about, about the parents. So I saw, and you guys can look it up, I saw the apple juice. It was just in a cup, almost like a Dixie cup kind of a thing. Huh. No lid on it. And wouldn't you think as a parent, I mean, you would kind of like give it, I would smell it. Like, wouldn't you have smelt it when you gave it to one of your kids? I suppose, but also, like, I think when I go to a restaurant, I just trust that everything's going the way it should. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I wouldn't think to ever, like, taste my kids' drink before they have well, a Well, now here's another thing we have but to worry yeah, about, right? Another thing, yes. Yeah, and then I'm like, okay, <laughs> is that really candy that you're sprinkling on your stuff, or does it yeah. something else? I don't know. It's just another thing. Everyone, just be careful out there. That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah, be, be extra careful. Extra Overly careful. careful, yeah. Now, I had to have you. Today's your last day. I can't believe it. it We're going to miss you yeah and but i had to have you do the forecast for me sure i can do that can i mean well, i'm on the clock for like 45 more minutes i'm stretching like you you thought you could leave early and i was like oh, oh, oh hold the clicker my reel friend. it back in yeah all right well let's do that i can talk about the weather <laughs> i've done that a few times here let's do it one more so we've got a few storms way down the coast and that actually stems from rain that was around houston like four or five hours ago and we've been thinking here through the morning that by now something might form and we haven't quite seen that yet at least around houston but as we look north and northwest West, just in the last 15 minutes, we're starting to see a little bit of rain pop up. So that's what we're anticipating to continue to happen today. With the heat of the day, the atmosphere gets a little uh, unstable and rain gets a chance to form. So there should be a little more scattered rain coming together. And assuming that happens, it won't be as hot as we've had for pretty much the entire month, but certainly the last week where we hit 100 or hotter every single day. Today's high around 93 because of the storms and some extra cloud cover that should blow over the top of those storms as well. The rain chance today at about 40%. So if you're going to go with words instead of numbers, it'd be like scattered. And then this weekend would be more like isolated rain, so little spots here and there. Next week, we have another disturbance coming in, which I'll show you in a second, and that's going to bring several more days with scattered rain here in southeast Texas. High pressure is finally going to get out of the way. This is what's been bringing the heat for so long, and the winds go like this around it. So once it heads farther north, we've got a wind that's going to help guide this low in here by Monday, and it's probably going to stall in Texas on Tuesday and Wednesday, and that should bring some scattered rain back to our area, maybe resulting in half an inch to an inch and a half over the next seven days on average. Of course, some individual downpours can drop even more than that. So it's mostly good news here on the 10 day. I think a lot of us are pretty tired with how hot it's been. No 100s for the foreseeable future all the way through the 10 day forecast. And those rain chances look pretty good, especially next week. I'm here for this. Thank you for leaving us with a good forecast, my friend. Well, I'm excited because tomorrow is National Waffle Day and Taste Kitchen is celebrating in a big way ahead of a charity Waffle Week give back. Our good friend of the show, <laughs> Chef Bowie, is here with the deets and obviously the delicious eats. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I know you're so Absolutely. busy. Absolutely. We know we love being here. I love it <laughs> and I love, love your breakfast. Tell me how we can celebrate waffles. With so you. We're, we're doing it in a couple of ways. First of all, you can't find a place with more waffle options than taste anywhere in the state of Texas from the different varieties that we offer. So what we decided to do was we've been offering a waffle flight for National Waffle Day, which is going to start for us National Waffle Week, okay. where you can kind of mix and match as much as you want. And then we're also going to do a $5 all-you-can-eat waffle option. So a waffle flight, that's brilliant. Right. Tell me a little bit about what we can taste test. So everything from the pecan praline, we have our apple pie, our mm. peach cobbler, our sweet potato waffle, the tried and true red velvet, the cinnamon toast crunch, the fruity pebbles. You know, we also, which some people just love, I use my, my mother's recipe, so we also do a cornbread and buttermilk biscuit <gasps> waffle, so those are our savory waffles, but it's just like eating a piece of cornbread and biscuit. It's your mom's recipe? Yep. I see, that's I what you, I, I love. Take, I take a lot from her. I would actually order that because right. knowing the history oh, yeah. of it. It's good. What it's does good. it mean to you to be able to be so successful, but to be making something from your mom? Uh, it's, it's one of those things where you're kind of passing down you know, lineage, tradition, you know, for us food means love. So, you know, that's how she kind of showed a lot of love when I was growing up. So when I do this, it keeps me kind of connected to my childhood and to, you know, the experiences she gave me that I now get to share. You know, Jeff, you have a lot of, of love in your heart for this city and you're always giving back. Absolutely. So this kicks off a really cool charity thing. Correct. So a dollar from every waffle flight as or unlimited waffle 
purchase that you make is going to be going to um, Big Chef Bowie Cares Foundation. And you know with that we do a lot of things when it comes to feeding the homeless and just feeding the city in general. And we'll be donating money to the Star Hope here in Houston. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I have to give you a shout out. It's going to be your birthday, August yep. 28th. So next week. why not next celebrate week. Next week. with the chef and also give back. Tell everybody, I mean they all know, but tell everybody where you're located. Uh, 420 Main Street, downtown Houston on the corner of Main and Prairie. Um, can't miss us. Biggest building on Main Street yeah. where you see all the people walking in and out uh, enjoying themselves. And I'm loving this vibe. I told you I love this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this the is it. Thing. So this is the Tasty. So this is, you know, in the original location, we used yeah. to have this mural upstairs. So we've turned it into a tea with a little saying on the back saying Houston. You know, show the show the bag. Yeah. So which people Houston love? Houston just tastes different. Exactly. I mean, look at this model. Exactly. Yeah. It's okay. I brought you one of these, so you, did? you can kind of take Aww, it. Aw, chef, it's not even my birthday. Well, thank you <laughs> so much, and thanks Absolutely. for giving back. And again, I want to go order this because of your mom. She Absolutely. did a great job. Oh, she did. She, she did. Really did. This is definitely an inspiration and, and homage to her. Which one besides those? Which one would you order? Uh, on the waffles, my mm -hmm. favorite, and. Probably one of our top selling is the pecan praline. Mm. I mean, you can put syrup on it, you don't really need to, but that, that thing is addictive. I can't eat it right now because I'm trying to <laughs> get my girlish figure together. Get it so for no. your birthday? Yeah. Okay, honey. So all right, no, well, chef's no kiss to you, praline. my friend. Chef's Thank kiss. You. And of course, we'll have all of the details over on our website, CW39.com. We're serving up more Houston Happens after the break. Stay tuned. Thanks again. To act as a lawyer, you have to behave as a lawyer. Well, who is your witness? Who are you? I don't even know you. Uh, you don't ask questions. I ask questions. Odd Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. Thinking of selling your house? I'm JR with SellTheJR.com, and I'll buy your house as is. I'll give you a cash offer within 24 hours. SellTheJR.com makes selling your home easy. We buy houses in any condition. We can work through any situation. With SellTheJR.com, there are no strangers walking through your house, no closing costs, no commissions, and no repairs. Go to Sell2JR.com for your free, no-obligation cash offer. Here's a harsh fact. 40% of women and almost 20% of men suffer from varicose or spider veins. And if you think this is just a cosmetic problem, think again. Varicose or spider veins, if left untreated, can lead to swollen or discolored legs, the inability to stand or walk, neuropathy, or worse, blood clots, which can travel to other parts of your body. But here's the good news. Advanced Medical Inc. works with the nation's largest network of vein and vascular treatment centers coast to coast, offering plans that treat and cure the condition, not just cover up like most others. Pause this screen and take down this number, but call for free information. You can live your life to the fullest again. Walk, exercise, sleep well, vacation. Your vein problems will not go away on their own and can cause serious issues. Call now for fast, easy solutions that are covered by most insurance plans, including Medicare. And new appointments include ultrasound and vein mapping. Call now and find out immediately if you qualify. Schedule an appointment today. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. This summer, feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello Permanent Fat Removal and get summer body ready in just one visit. I saw the results immediately. It's the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. My waist is tiny, so I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50, y'all, and my abs haven't been this flat since before I've had kids. For a limited time, take advantage of Sonobello's biggest sale of the year. Sonobello's board certified Surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It will change your life. It did for me. I can't wait till the summertime hit. Hot mom summer, here I come. Call 1 888 503 5322 now or go to sonobello.com to claim special pricing. I guess you're not holding back anymore. I can't. I'm out of time. Well, time now is nearly 9.25. We are at that halfway mark. Time flies when you're having fun. And that means producer Lou has entered the chat. 
Love your top today. Thank you. Sis, Thank you I'm so much. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> well, you know, it's Adam's last day, and I was like, I don't know if we're going to be okay or not, so standing by. Well, <laughs> look the part for sure. So, so far, we've had a lot of celebrations in the show. I love it. I know, and we're going to continue to celebrate, Maggie, but let me tell you first about this story that's coming up on okay. the show. It's about one local artist. They're keeping uh, the memory of fallen deputy Fernando Esqueda uh, alive after he was recently shot and killed over a wrong pizza order such yeah. a, a tragic story but our Seth Cobar he's gonna be joining us live with a look at how he's being honored this morning I can't wait to see what he has in store for us today yeah it's really really incredible and it just goes to show how we come together to honor people as a community and through gosh. art so I'm excited for this story unfortunately it was because of a tragedy but his legacy is living on yeah, but Maggie's switching gears completely here. I am so sure we've all heard the saying, do what you love. Yeah. But this next story, Maggie, is going to take it to the next level. So a 90-year-old woman, you're seeing her is right she there. She is a stylist. She looks and good. She looks so good. I'm like, how does 90 never look so good? Gosh. She has 75 years doing this, and she's still going. So we're going to hear a little bit more about that in just a few seconds. I absolutely love that. Do you think you'll still be producing when you're 90? I'll probably be dead by then. I'm um, older than you. No, no, thank you. But, Maggie, you know who's going to still, still be producing probably? Who? <laughs> I want to call Bree. The chat? I want to give her a shout out. She always helps us so much. Yes. And she's wearing hey, the perfect t shirt. Show it. Show the fanny it's pack. Megan the Stallion t shirt. How appropriate for today. I have to say, can we just give it up for Brie? Because Brie, I love, she has a dry sense of humor so that we I love. Sit. She might as well sit. She I know. Sit, sit down, <laughs> enter the chat. But Brie is one that we can always count on to help us. And of course. yesterday, when we were out in the heat with the band, she, she was field through. producing. Today, she just came in the studio, didn't even have to ask her. Brie, we love you. Thank I you for being it. part of our, <laughs> our team and our family. Oh and Brie God. also has a fanny pack, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> and guess what? When we went to Ito's going away, she let me hold her fanny pack. Okay, we got to go to break, but oh! we love you, Brie. <laughs> All right, that's it. Got to let you know. Stay tuned in the second half hour. She's got to keep me in. See, it starts after the My knees were a mess. I'm a golfer. It's a very big thing in my life to be able to get in my car and go to the club and hit golf balls and practice. And I couldn't do this. My pain was so bad, I even considered surgery. I didn't want to have surgery because it would take me out of what I like to do too long. And I wanted to see if there was something out there that would prevent this. Do you suffer with arthritis pain? Is it keeping you from the activities you love and you feel that surgery is your only option? Then you need to call Arthritis Knee Pain Centers for a free, no obligation screening today. Call 800-915-5717. That's 800-915-5717. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers use cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with comfort and pain relief. Before the treatment, I was limited on what I could do. It was frustrating. If you had asked me, would I be practicing every day, walking around, doing my gym work, I would have never thought that. I had the procedure done in my knee. It was a miracle. I couldn't believe the relief that I've got. These treatments help to improve your mobility without surgery or downtime. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers gave me relief that I was looking for. They care about your pain. Covered by Medicare and most private insurance, we've helped relieve the pain for over 50,000 patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Center relieved my pain and got my life back. The rest is history, baby. <laughs> Remember, our procedure is covered by Medicare and most private insurance. So get back to living your life and doing the things you love with less pain. Call Arthritis Knee Pain Centers and schedule your no-charge screening now. Call 800-915-5717. That's 800-915-5717. In an election year filled with uncertainty, there's one network you can trust. And Chris, by the way, I saw that on News Nation, so I know it has to be absolutely true. Trust News Nation. News for all America. 
This sight can make you feel uneasy, scared, jumpy, got horribly hurt in a bad 18-wheeler wreck. This sight for sure will make any greedy insurance company feel uneasy, scared, jumpy. I'm Tim Adler, the Texas Hammer. I don't let up. A bad truck wreck gave my client a traumatic brain injury. I got him a million nine hundred thirteen thousand five hundred dollars in his pocket. The time to call is now. It's payback time. Don't go it alone. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. Time now is 9.30. Thanks for joining us for the second half hour of Houston Happens. A local artist created a mural for fallen deputy Fernando Escuera, who was shot and killed over a wrong pizza order not too long ago. Our own Paige Hubbard has a look at how the artist is keeping the deputy's memory alive. Nestled in the east end of Houston lies a new mural that's honoring fallen Harris County deputy Fernando Escada. Ace Phoenix, artist and longtime family friend of Deputy Escada's family, says the deputy's mother asked her to paint the mural to help keep his legacy alive. She said the only person she thought about was me to go ahead and do the artwork. There had been other inquiries, but um, she's very loyal to me and very loyal to her. Taqueria Monchi's restaurant was specifically chosen to be the home for the artwork because it has significance for the deputy and his family. A lot of officials come here and his family still comes here. It just has a lot of heart when it comes to what happened and to him as a person. This was a home for them. This is a home for him and his family still. The artist says Deputy Escada's family not only commissioned her to paint this mural here behind me, they also asked her to paint a mural in the privacy of their own home. It's a request she says she has the honor to fulfill. I knew Deputy Esqueda since middle school all the way to high school. He, as a matter of fact, he graduated a mile away from, from our family-owned restaurant. Lucina Vasquez's family owns the East End restaurant. She shares the deputy's death affected her on a different level because it hit close to home. What happened to Deputy Esqueda, it was very devastating. And my husband is a police officer, and every day when we say our goodbyes, we just never know. Oh my goodness, it just gets you in the heart. That was our Paige Hubbard reporting and continuing our coverage of the mural honoring Deputy Fernando Escada is our own Seth Kovar who actually is live from Taquiera Manchis. And Seth, today is the official dedication of that artwork. It's really incredible. Yeah, it is uh, uh, Deputy Escada being remembered here in mural form here at Taqueria Monchis. And uh, I have some of uh, his co-workers with us right now. Saul Suarez, a major with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, joins me. Come on over here, sir, and a couple of your co-workers as well. Uh, you worked directly with the Deputy Escada. Tell me about him. Yes, sir. So good morning. First morning. of all, I just want to thank Channel 39 and also Los Monchis Restaurant uh, for highlighting uh, Deputy Fernando Escada's life and also honoring, honoring his life by... Uh, by, by creating this mural here outside the restaurant. So I did work with him. So I'm a major over our Criminal Investigations Bureau. So within that bureau, I worked with him because he was part of our uh, Violent Persons Task Force, uh, which is in our Warrants Division. And I also have here today Captain uh, Christopher Perry and also Sergeant Mike Wang, who also worked with him in the Criminal Investigations Bureau. What was he like to work with? Just a high energy, great all around person. Uh, this mural, uh, it's actually uh, gonna help nourish his legacy as being a committed public servant a caring teammate, and also a hero to all of us. And uh, we were talking earlier, it's appropriate that this mural is in this community because he was a part of this community. How so? Absolutely. So he grew up in this community, and also the owner of this restaurant, uh, Cannon for Vasquez, she actually went to middle school and high school with him. So she had a personal relationship with him also because she knew him, they were friends. And uh, Deputy Esqueda had a just a, a great impact of this community, uh, just every community, but mostly here because, again, he attended uh, high schools around here, and he grew up here. Well, uh, tell us about the first time you got to see this mural. Uh, what was your reaction to it? Yes, yeah, so I saw it as soon as it, it, it came up about a couple of weeks ago. A, a, a team and I told me about it. So I personally grew up in this neighborhood also. So just very, very honored, very grateful for, for this mural. I drove by here and saw it. And it highlights uh, Deputy Fernando Esqueda, who he is. I mean, that smile uh, that you can see, just great, uh, great energy. Humbly smile. I mean, every time he came around somebody, he impacted them because he had that energy. Uh, he was a relentless investigator, uh, did a, a great job in not only searching databases, but very passionate about his position in warrants 
And before that, he was in patrol too. He patrolled in the Aldine area, so our District 2 area. So when he was there, very hard worker. One of the reasons we took him over investigations. All right, Major Suarez, thank you so much for talking about your fallen friend and co-worker there. Uh, Deputy Escada is going to be remembered forever in the community, but also right here at uh, this taqueria. Thank Maggie, you. back to you. May his legacy live on, and thank you to all of the brave men and women in blue. I really appreciate all that you do. Thank you. Excellent reporting as always, Seth. Well, switching gears, did you guys see this? Instagram is giving millennials a throwback to the early days of social media with this new update I just saw this morning. So Instagram profiles will now include a music feature similar to one MySpace had in the early 2000s. Now, unlike MySpace, the song won't automatically play. Profile viewers can decide to play or stop the track. To use the feature, users can add a song by going to the edit profile page. There they can search for and select a track from Instagram's library and select a 30 second long portion of the song to add. Now, Instagram is launching the feature in collaboration with pop star Sabrina Carpenter. The espresso artist has found a new way of releasing new music. Her Instagram account featured a never before heard teaser of her upcoming single, Taste. Sabrina's new album is out today on all music platforms. Okay, so someone who's all over social media, Adam. Adam, I, fun fact, uh -huh. Never had a MySpace account. Oh no! I was Maggie. so anti-social media until I was laid off from radio, uh -huh. and so like 15 years ago. And someone said, "No, you have to have Facebook." But I did not do Facebook at all. I was like, "Ugh, gross." I, I remember don't want being anti-Facebook, but I had the MySpace, and I was like, "Oh, people are doing this next thing, and like, this social media thing. Well, who this is not going to?" And now look where it's taken us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I but... mean, so if you were to have one song. Yeah. I mean, what song would be your Instagram profile? I think, so, here's, so, as everyone knows, my last day here at CW39 is today. Right. By the end of the day today, I'll be living in Los Angeles. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I have to pick, like, California Love by Tupac, maybe something like that. Oh, um, yeah, It's kind of fitting. I don't, do you have one in mind that would be your profile? Well, I mean, Rod song. Stewart, Wake Up Maggie, that used to be my ringtone. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I think I got something to say to you. Um, remember that, also, that song, Who Sang It? I'm Bossy. Uh, isn't it, fl I thought it was Floss, isn't there Flossy? I'm I don't know, no. it used to be like, da, 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 da. okay, I don't know. Okay, but, yeah, I don't know. And then my mom, remember yeah. when you could do ringtones, you'd pay to have a ringtone for a person? Yes. Did you ever do I that? I remember that. I did it. So my mom, you've met my mom, yeah. everybody's met my mom, very like, looks like a prim and proper beautiful. Oh. She loves rap music, you know, and she loves chameleon airs right and dirty. So I'll <laughs> okay. never forget, I was in line at the bank and all of a sudden it was like, we be yeah. riding. And yeah. I opened up my phone. I think it was maybe a flip phone. And I was like, hi, mommy. That was her, her song. So, and so I had I had MySpace, um, and I missed that. Like you would like your your own page. It was like your way to yeah. show your personality. You could do a bunch of crazy things. A super quick story about MySpace, though. Yeah. So there's a an element to that to how I met my wife. So I met her in person out one time. Oh, it's like you it, slide into her. No, no. But so we kind of like we met. We we exchanged numbers, but neither of us called one another. And the holidays went by, so some yeah. time passed. And then we reconnected through like messaging on MySpace, which at that time you could just find anyone and message them. There was no like privacy thing oh. that I knew of. Um, so then. We kind of like reconnected through MySpace. So MySpace I, I have a, a special place. Maybe you should do your wedding song as your song then. Yeah. Um, that was the uh, the Jason Mraz. Um, oh, what's the name of it? I know how it goes. It's okay. But yeah, I'm yours. Thank you. They I hear. It. Yeah, maybe yeah, he'll post that it. That was later. our wedding song. You never okay. know. Um, it's feeling hot, hot, hot. Right? It is. Today? Or maybe raindrops keep falling on your head. Oh, right? yeah. There's going to be, I think, some of that today, too. Yeah. And also, just going back like a minute, I'm remembering the bossy song now that you're yeah, talking about. I'm I, I can hear it. Yeah. Can someone know, quick Google it? I, I know, know people at home by. are like, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> our weather uh, right now is quiet, but I do expect some rain to form a little later on. It's 88 right now. Feels like 99. So, yes, it's another warm and humid day. However, we probably won't see the temperatures get too out of control today. We're expecting highs in the low 90s, and the reason for the lack of 100s is because there should be some rain coming together. There should be a little more cloud cover today than what we've had lately, and that will help out. We're seeing some rain form way off to the northwest of Houston right now. I was expecting by this point in the morning there'd be a little bit more around Houston. That hasn't quite materialized, but still as we get a little later into the day today, we'll find some scattered rain and a few thunderstorms, and again, at the least, that's going to bring a little more cloud cover overhead, which should reduce our heat a bit. And some of that may linger into about 6 o'clock or so, and then it kind of winds down for the rest of the evening. We've got some
some rain in the forecast this weekend. Not a lot, but some spotty showers and maybe a storm or two. Next week is when we have a whole different kind of weather pattern where there's a disturbance coming in and this hot area of high pressure has been uh, that's been bothering us for a while. That's gone. So cooler temperatures next week, some rain next week. Maggie, I feel like you're scrambling to find the song. Did you get it? By Kalis and Korma? Oh, Kalis. Kalis. Oh, do, oh no, do, I'm so does, sorry. Does she do milkshake? You're so much hipper than me. I can't believe I, I missed. I'm sorry. She does milkshake. I don't know. Oh. Bring right? boys to the yard. Yeah. I don't know. Let me Google it. Okay. Okay, stay tuned. We have more after the break. I can't believe I said it. Who are you? I don't even know you. Uh, you don't ask questions. I ask questions. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Because of our reputation, many people think that Simmons & Fletcher only handles the most serious accidents. But at Simmons & Fletcher, we know that all accidents are serious when they happen to you. We're here to fight for you. No matter the size of your accident or injury, call Simmons & Fletcher today and find out if you have a case for free. So whether it's a large case or a small case, we're your lawyers. Simmons and Fletcher, Christian trial lawyers. Jack Pocket, America's number one lottery app, has a new way to play. Texas Lottery Scratch-Offs right on your phone. Ready, set, scratch. Real tickets, real cash prizes. Jack Pocket players have already won over $450 million in lottery prizes. Now it's your turn. Use the code at checkout and get $5 off your first scratch ticket while supplies last. Download Jack Pocket today. Hi, I'm Brandon with Priority House Buyers. And I'm Pat, and we buy property all over Houston. Our family-owned business has been buying houses for cash and fixing up neighborhoods since 2009. We buy fixer-uppers and blower-uppers. Rented or vacant, inherited, foreclosed on, even homes in decent shape. And we'll pay all the closing costs. And there are no commissions. All it takes is a few minutes on the phone to see if our family can help yours. Call 832-821-1000. That's 832-821-1000. Look at this. I love my new body. I love my new shape. This summer, feel confident in anything with Sonobello One Visit Permanent Fat Removal. I saw the results immediately. I feel amazing. My waist is tiny. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50. And my abs haven't been this flat since before I had kids. For a limited time, take advantage of Sonobello's best offer of the year calm or go to sonobello.com it will change your life in different Planet Roof Company is looking for hardworking sales associates. With the recent hurricane and severe weather, this is the best time to enter the roofing industry. Be at least 18 and own a car. Sales associates can make up to $15,000 a month. Join the Planet Roof Company team. Chicken strips. Ranch. Buffalo. Monterey Jack cheese. The Whataburger Buffalo Ranch Chicken Strip Sandwich. A beautiful masterpiece. CW39 Spotlight, Brad Gilmore sits down with the creator and stars of Pachinko, streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. Pachinko Season 2 is streaming right now on Apple TV+. Plus. The long-awaited Season 2 is finally here, and we had a chance to talk to the showrunner and one of the stars of this highly anticipated Apple TV Plus series, Sue Hugh and Jin Ha, as we put them in the spotlight. Sue and Jin, thank you so much for joining me. Let's talk about Season 2. What is your expectation or what is your hope that people take away from watching this season? I mean, I hope they take away the same thing that they took away in season one is that it's a story that feels both familiar and new and that leaves them emotionally both comforted but also a little bit raw and that we always say after watching pachinko that we hope everyone calls home you know and reconnects i think it's the it, it made me the show made me the season two really made me think about the worlds of difference between generations how much things change um everything technology history geography you know what i'm saying like language it's it, because it's so easy to forget how different things were um and i think it's 
there's something, there's wisdom to, obviously, there's wisdom to be gained, but I just mean remembering how quickly things can change within a family, right? That's what the show centers on. But that Solomon and Sanja, young Sanja, were merely two generations apart, but they exist in such different realities. Um, I find that infinitely fascinating because that's, we have countless of those examples, you know, in everybody's lives. We want to thank Sue Hugh and Jen Ha for joining us on this edition of the CW39 Spotlight. Be sure you check out Pachinko Season 2, streaming right now on Apple TV+. Plus. But until next time, I'm Brad Gilmore, CW39 Houston. Such beautiful cinematography. Thank you, Brad. And I'm sure we've all heard the saying, do what you love. But this next story is taking that phrase to another level. A 90-year-old woman who began her career 75 years ago is still doing hair to this day. And as our Brittany Flowers reports, she's not slowing down anytime soon. At 90 years old, most people are enjoying retirement. Just a good touch up. And she will be beautiful again. Not Marlene Janninga. Everyone says, well, you could retire and get a hobby. Why? I love what I do. A childhood dream. When I was in fourth grade, the teacher asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I wanted to be a concert pianist or a hairdresser. But the concert pianist didn't work out? No. <laughs> now, it's her legacy. This is what I do. This is what I've done for 66 years with this company. Marlene has shared her expertise with stylists all over the country. That's why I can't quit. I, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love every, every part of it. Outside the salon... I'm a mom and a wife. And now I'm a grandma and a great grandma and a great great grandma. She's also become a maternal figure for many inside the salon. I know when I gave birth to my first child, I didn't call my mother, I called her. Alexis Bauer's mother, Peggy White, is the founder of A Salon Hair and Skin Spa in North Muskegon. White hired Marlene in the 60s. Bauer is now getting ready to pass the salon on to her own daughter, and Marlene has been there through it all. It's been a blessing. She's like my mother and my co-worker. She enriches us um, beyond belief. I mean, with her knowledge, she's positive. She has just a great attitude, and her clients, everybody loves her. Marlene's spirit, never wavering, even through what she's facing. November, it'll be two years since I was diagnosed. Esophageal cancer is not stopping her from doing what she loves. All my doctors have said, you are really healthy. <laughs> you just have cancer. <laughs> you know? And that's the truth. I've been very, very healthy all my life. That's why I'm still working, right? And working is exactly what she plans to keep doing. They say, when are you going to retire? And I say, when I drop dead behind my chair. If God wants me here to witness about him, I'll be here. If not, go home. And either way is fine with me. What an inspiration. Well, after the recent passing of who was considered the oldest person on Earth, we now know who is taking that spot. Her name is Tomiko Ituka. I hope I said that right. 116-year-old lady from Japan. 116-year-old. According to the Guinness World Record, she is the world's oldest living person, just one year younger than the previous record holder. She, in fact, celebrated her birthday on May 23rd. She got flowers, a cake, and a card from the mayor. So what's the secret to such a long life? Well, she says every morning she has a popular yogurt-flavored drink called Kelpas, and her favorite food is bananas. Quick, someone get me some bananas. She looks really good for 116. Well, speaking of stars, he is known as the pommel horse guy. We all know him, but he may now add reality show personality to his resume. Steven Nedarosic, he is fresh off of the Olympics and ready to tackle his next competition. It's a little different to what he is used to. Uh, pommel horse guy, as we love to call him, he is joining 
A con he's going to be a contestant, I should say, for the new season of Dancing with the Stars. The Olympic medalist is the first celebrity contestant named for the season. The rest of the celebrity cast will be announced at a later date. The real question, will he keep his iconic glasses on? He is my favorite celebrity from the Olympics, Adam. I think he totally gives like Clark Kent <laughs> Superman vibes. Like he saved the day for Team USA. Yeah, totally a fan favorite and kind of a relatable guy, right? Just yeah. feels like the, uh, like, I don't know, I can relate with him being kind of a nerdy guy myself. So I love it. And ladies, I'm sorry. A lot of ladies were like, is he he's actually has a girlfriend. Oh, he's okay. taken, I know. But he's gonna be dancing and you're dancing your way off of set. You're leaving us after four years. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, it went quick four it years really here. Um, I remember your first day. Adam, I have to say, I yeah. absolutely love your dry wit. <laughs> I mean, you. you have this, I always have enjoyed our time together uh -huh. on air. So thank you. And I know you put up with my crazy escapades. Well, I know you and I both appreciate <laughs> word puns. So we yeah, we do. Back and forth and you actually got me into Wordle. Oh, so now uh -huh. my husband and I, we play Wordle every night together. Oh, you, like still, our thing. you still got it going? Okay. I still got that Wordle going, but oh, it's all I... thanks to you. Yeah, it's our like little fun thing, our competition. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Wordle and the weather, then lyrics now. <laughs> and now look at you, you're going to LA. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm headed. Uh, I'll be starting in September at a TV station in Los Angeles. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. Also though, like bittersweet, you know, I'll miss yeah. everyone here for sure. And then Maggie, as far as you, you know, like of anyone, like you can appreciate having some fun at work as well, right? I mean, you're probably the most <laughs> fun person here, Aww. I think. Yeah, and so oh, always in a you. good mood, always <laughs> like you could tell when Maggie gets here, you hear her laugh. <laughs> you hear my laugh in the whole yeah. studio. Um, but it's been a pleasure working with you. We've had a lot of fun together. Well, thank Thank you. I will miss you, but I'm yeah. very, very proud of you. And cheers oh, you. to the next chapter. Cheers. So cheers send buddy. my love to the family and stay in touch. Of course, we can always follow you on social media. Yeah, too. you know where to find me. You right? know where to find you. <laughs> and who knows? Hopefully, you'll come visit sooner. We'll come visit you and Callie. In the meantime, stay tuned. We're going to visit commercial break, but we'll be back after that. Would you buy a life insurance policy if you knew your rate increased every five years? What if $9.95 a month bought you less than $1,000 in protection? Sadly, many policies that seniors buy today fail to mention this in their advertisements. You could buy a policy that might not give you enough coverage when you need it the most. Call now to receive free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life Insurance Company. The Senior Care Plan guarantees your rates cannot increase, your benefit will never decrease, there's no medical exam, and you will have lifetime coverage you could qualify for up to $30,000 in whole life protection. With the Senior Care Plan, your coverage can start immediately, unlike other policies that don't give you full coverage for two years. By calling now, you'll lock in the lowest rate possible. Call now for your free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life. You have no obligation. Call now. Houston's number one spot for hit music and the Rule and Ryan show is 104.1 KRBE. The experience is everywhere you are. No radio required. Hey, it's Rule and Ryan from the Rule and Ryan show. Hi, and guess what? You can listen to us on the go, wherever you are, at work, on the run. Just get your phone out, download the free KRBE app. You can also listen to us on the iHeartRadio app or the TuneIn app. And you can tell your smart speaker, hey, Alexa, play KRBE. It's that easy. Stay with KRBE all day. This sight can make you feel tense, frightened, anxious. Got horribly hurt in a bad 18-wheeler wreck? This sight for sure will make any greedy insurance company feel tense, frightened, anxious. I'm Bill Adler, the Texas Hammer. Some insurance companies do their best to pay less. I'll hammer hard for all the cash, all the benefits you deserve. 713-777-4000. The time to call is now. Don't settle for less. Call me first. Hi, I'm JR with SellToJR.com and I buy houses as is in any condition. If I buy your house, SellToJR.com can help you find your next home or retirement community. If you want, I can handle the whole move, even the items you don't want to take with you. If you're considering selling your house but think there are way too many roadblocks, call me or go to SellToJR.com for your free, no obligation cash offer. The law tries to use logic, particularly in cases where the people don't. So I'm gonna now do what? You're looking at a little rough justice. That's right. People's Court, today at 11 on CW39 Houston. 
Well, before we go, from organizing your screenshots to creating packing lists instantly, Rich Tamiro takes a closer look at AI features on Google's newest smartphone in today's Rich on Tech. Rich Demiro here, Rich on Tech, and today I'm going to show you a few cool new features on Google's Pixel 9 smartphone, and every one of them uses AI. Let's start with Pixel Studio. This is a new image generation app, and it creates some of the best AI images I've seen fast. Just open the app, tap create, and type something in, like cute furry creature with rainbow sparkly skin. Once you get your image, you can tap to change the look to video game, cinematic, anime, and more. Next up, how many times have you gotten off the phone and immediately forget what you were just told? Well, now you can use a feature called Call Notes to record your calls. When you hang up, you'll see a transcript of your conversation and any key points, like what you need to pick up at the store or the locker combination code someone mentioned. Speaking of lists, if you need more help making a list, there's a new feature inside the Google Keep app called Help Me Create a List. Packing list for a Hawaii vacation, including hiking and luau dinners. Talking to AI just got a whole lot cooler with something called Gemini Live. It's a conversational AI assistant that I dare say sounds human-like. Yeah, Gemini is pretty awesome. It's always fun to hear about the ways technology makes us feel like we're talking to a real person. And with Gemini, it really does feel like you're chatting with a friend. You can talk back and forth, interrupt them, pick up where you left off, and even chat while your phone is in your pocket. There's a new photo feature that lets you take your pictures to the next level. Just circle something in your photo and tap reimagine. Let's make this a giant UFO in the distance. What it comes up with is not always perfect, but it is fun. Finally, the handiest new app is called Screenshots. It's like a notebook full of all of your screenshots, but they're searchable. That means finding information is faster and easier than ever. Plus, you can organize them into collections like gift ideas or recipes. There you have it, a few of the cool new AI features I've been playing with on the new Pixel 9, which is available now. I'm Rich Demiro. that's Rich on Tech. I'm sorry, but is anyone else just super creeped out by AI? Like, everything seems fake. Well, that's a wrap on today's show. We'll see you back here on Monday morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. In the meantime, you can catch up on all of this week's shows and more over on our website, cw39.com. I hope that you have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye for now, everybody. Thank you.